everybody, Bonnie here. Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for stopping by to see what I have been up to for the past few days, week or so. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> welcome to anyone who is new. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and spending some time with me. This is awesome. So yeah, I had bought this book which is adorable. It is called Hooked on Amigurumi, 40 Amigurumi Patterns. It is by Melanie Morita. I will put the title in the author down below in the description in case you're interested. This book is so cute. I had shown you guys the um, coconut, but I haven't made that yet. But let me just show you really quick what that looks like. It's so cute. Look at that coconut. I will be making the coconut. Uh, there are some sticky notes in there because I had the girls go through and pick out some things that they wanted me to make. Then I just started at the beginning. The first pattern in this book is a sea turtle. It is Shelly the sea turtle. Shelly the sea turtle. So I made the sea turtle. I didn't have the same colors, um, but I'll show you what I did come up with. This is my Shelly the sea turtle. I had some of this scrap yarn around. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't recall what exactly the yarn is. Um, except I know that the bottom is a Karen Simply Soft in bone. And because that's still some of the yarn I have left from those Golden Girls. But anyway, it turned out really cute. It is a no sew pattern, a 3.5 millimeter hook and which was fine i had been making amigurumis with a 3.75 and i know some people go even smaller than that um i think when i started i started doing amis with a four a millimeter but i've been slowly going down and the stitches are just fine it, it worked up really good really cute you do crochet in the pieces and I followed the pattern just how you're supposed to. I think the safety eyes are 4.4 or uh, 4 millimeter, sorry, <laughs> are 4 millimeter. But the face went on a little crooked. I don't know if you can see. Her face was straight. Mine has this little, like the neck is turned a little. And it's just how it happened when I sewed it on. I think it's cute. The next time I make it, I might be more mindful. I mean, I could always just put some yarn on the bottom and tack it the right way it's supposed to be, but I think it's cute. I was surprised that these are flappy. I, for some reason, I wasn't thinking they would be, but it's, it's a cute pattern. My first sea turtle that I have ever made, which made me think of Cheryl from Cheryl's Creations. Hi, Cheryl. She's like the master of turtles. I will link her channel below. She is awesome. She's almost at a thousand subscribers, you guys. Let's get her there. She's just, she does amigurumis and that's what I've been into lately, watching those kind of videos. And um, anyways, she's making a bunch of turtles. I'll let you guys see her turtles. So anyway, my sea turtle. Willie the Whale is the next one that I made out of this book. By the way, I'm sorry if you hear noises. It is the washing machine going, um, yeah. It is what it is. This is my whale. I did have some blue yarn and some white like it showed in the pattern. It is so cute. The blue yarn, oh my goodness, I was gonna like be so prepared and have them, like the names of the, I'll be right back. The yarns that I used for this little guy are um, both Bernat Super Value, it's just Super Value White, and then Sky is the color. It is a little lighter of a blue, like it's a sky blue than um, in real life than it's showing on the camera, but oh my goodness, it's so cute. I thought it was gonna be complicated because of the tail and everything, but it's totally not complicated. This was my favorite one um, out of the patterns that I made. I made five patterns, so, or four four patterns. I made four patterns, five Amis because I made another whale. This is a pink and white one. This is the same type of yarn, Bernat Super Value. Let me see what the name is. Bernat Super Value in baby pink. And it did turn out a little smaller 
than the blue one. Now the safety eyes are um, a size up from, so I'm guessing they're like a six. I don't have them labeled. I lost the little paper that labels all my safety eyes. But anyways, they're a little bit bigger than the safety eyes in the turtle. And they're the same size safety eyes in both of these whales. Same yarn, same hook size, 3.5. This one turned out smaller because the stitches are a lot tighter because I was stressed out when I was making this one. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway, um, the, this one turned out a little smaller. I still think it's adorable. I mean, so cute. This was my favorite pattern from the book that I've made so far. Let me show you the next one that I made, which is also cute. The next pattern from the book that I made is Inky the Octopus. Mine's not purple though. This is my Inky the Octopus. It is made with Vanna's Choice in Silver Heather, I believe is the, um, the name. The same baby pink. The mouth is black cotton and the eyes are the same size as the whale eyes, which I'm guessing are about a six. I wasn't going to make this one at first because I've made octopus in the past and I didn't do this style let me grab one just to show you guys in case you have no idea what I'm talking about last year I was making octopus that looked like this with the long tentacles now this is the biggest one that I have kept it is not the biggest one that I've made because yeah um <laughs> I made a really huge one but um anyways I'll link those videos down below I this was a YouTube tutorial, but then I did something different for the tentacles. I, I made a border around them. Anyway, like I said, I'll link those videos below if you're interested in this. But anyway, this was when I think of octopus, I think this. I think long tentacles. I do not think stubbies, but I think it's still really cute. I know a lot of, because I, I watch a lot of Amy Garumi videos, here on YouTube and this seems to be the style that a lot of people make they make them for craft shows and stuff and at first I was just like oh I mean it's cute but I was just like I don't think I'm gonna like those but you guys I love it I love it love it love it this is a, a no sew pattern too um, you just cro crochet them all in and it's really cute I can't believe how cute it is while I was making all of these because you do make eight separate ones I'm thinking, you know, the next time I make this, I'm probably going to lengthen the tentacles just to make them bigger or longer, but I'm not. <laughs> I think it's really cute the way it sits too. My washing machine is doing its get out the water cycle, whatever, the spin cycle. I am so sorry for that noise. Anyways, look at that. It's so cute. I love it. So I'll probably be making more of these. And then the last pattern I am not making again. Let me show you that one. The last one that I made is Starla the Starfish. I don't think mine turned out as cute. <laughs> this one's mine. Uh, it is the Bernat Super Value. I, I'm guessing it's pale yellow because it's not like yellow yellow. It's a paler yellow. I can't see it very good because of the color, but <laughs> if I hold it way back here, um, it was not fun. It, it was not enjoyable. It's cute. It does have a piece of cotton right there for the mouth. That's what I used. Um, smaller safety eyes. Those are probably the four millimeter safety eyes. Safety eyes. Same size hook. Um, you make a front and a back, and then you crochet them together. But you guys. It was really fiddly. Maybe it was a yarn. Maybe I was just, my tension was too tight, but you crochet in the back bumps and I was not really enjoying it. And I don't like, I thought it was going to be poofier. The one in the book looks, ah, sorry. The one in the book looks poofier, you know, and mine looks like really skinny and they, the, the, points don't lay they don't lay flat like you can see that one is like curved so I can make it easily I can make it all curved and wonky and then I've got to really straighten it out probably because I crocheted it too tight but I'm not gonna make another starfish 
if I do make another starfish, I don't think it's going to be this pattern. Maybe, who knows? I mean, maybe I'll try it again one day, but it's so cute. I still like this book. I really do like this book. Probably can't hold all of them at the same time. Let's, ooh, we need if the turtle is on top of the octo. And then I grab this, oh, the stars in the back because I don't really like it, so you can't see it. Um, anyways, my favorite was the whales so far from this book. There are so many cute things. I did not make, there's a, sorry, turtle. There's a, there's a crab and there's also a jellyfish that I have not made and that's the sea um, creatures. Here's a picture of all of the sea creatures and I've made them all except for the red crab and the pink jellyfish. Maybe I'll make those, but uh, what I really want to do now is move on to some of the foods because they're just adorable and the first one that has a sticky note in it is Patty the Pie. Patty the Pie. And then that coconut, I really want to make the coconut. There's a watermelon. Okay, the watermelon will be the last one I show you and then I'll let you, then I'll let you guys go. They're just, I really am enjoying this book. So, there's the watermelon. I'm kind of skipping right to summer mode because we really don't get a spring here in the UP of Michigan. Uh, our snow has melted. Well, I mean, there's still like tiny patches of snow, but for the most part, it has melted. It has <laughs> flooded the basement. It's done all its things that the spring melt usually does. So I'm just getting into summer mode now. Uh, I do have my daffodils started to come up during the snow. So I have one daffodil that's bloomed out there and I don't know what's gonna happen with the rest of them. I'm hoping my lilac bush will be okay because it had started, the buds had started to come up when we had that big snowstorm. So I don't know what's gonna happen with that. Anyways, <laughs> that's what's been going on around here. Again, I apologize for that stinking washing machine that's going, but I had to take my opportunity to make a video when I can make a video. So I will be seeing you guys soon. I'm not sure what will be in my next video. I do wanna get that purple rabbit finished. I have some ideas for that. I kind of want to make it look like like uh, old fashioned -y kind of maybe type. I really want to watch Anna Green Gables <laughs> and that's so that's been like that era has been on my mind. But anyways, so we'll see what I show you guys next time and I'm just so thankful that you stopped by to watch and see what I've been crocheting. Um, thank you everybody who do, like they hit the like button and the subscribe button and all that. I feel kind of icky. I don't like saying subscribe and like whatever because you guys know if you watch YouTube videos you know like when I watch YouTube videos I just I know I hit the like and subscribe. But anyway I'm babbling now and I'm just actually I'm just procrastinating because it's time for me to do the dishes and clean up the kitchen but uh, I hope you guys all have a great rest of the day or night or whenever you guys are watching this. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.